Hi everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft ASMR playthrough. Everyone keeps commenting on part 2, asking for part 3, so here it is. I hope you enjoy. And if you like gaming in general, I also have started a gaming channel. It is fresh, it is new, it is where the live streams have gone. If you are wondering why those aren't popping up anymore, um, they are now on that channel. So if you want to be a part of um, that growth, go ahead and head over there. I'll leave a link in the description. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. Let's go ahead and get started. Every time I come back to this world, because I don't play it very often, I have to sort of remember what I was in the middle of here. And I think, I remember I was building a, yep, there it is, way out there, a beautiful little house on a hill, I believe. And I have some meat in my inventory, spruce logs, spruce planks, all the good stuff it looks like. Let me go, let me go take a look at that house over there and let's go see the progress that we've made so far. Oh, this world is also, it's very, very bright. Snow is so bright. And I believe I've left details for all of the the shaders and texture pack. I believe I've left details about those in previous videos. So if you're interested in trying to get that in your own Minecraft world, it should be, if I don't link it in this video, it's linked on previous videos. So it looks like we've started, we've got some glass. I'm, oh, we got some glass right here too. I'm assuming that we were putting some glass in the windows here. So we'll go ahead and continue that. I mean, it looks like we can sort of set up a little base here. That bed is so pretty. Beautiful blue oceany color. Okay, so you can go ahead and sort of set up a base here, I think. And it also looks like I was replacing this with some cobblestone. So maybe we should go ahead and move all of our resources over to this house to make building a little bit easier for us. I know we have several caves and tunnels. I believe that we've mined in beneath us. You know, I think it would also look really pretty if we built a greenhouse. I also, I'm not sure exactly. Uh, okay, this looks like Which place is mine? So I know there was stuff in that house. Is that the only house, do we think? I don't know. We can always come back and check. Alright, let's go ahead and move some more stuff over here. Man, I wish that snow where I currently live. It's been so long since I've seen snow. And I've never seen snow, I think, that's above two feet. I think. I've never seen real snow. So that would that would be super cool. I, I know I've heard from people who live, okay, that's iron, in snowy areas that really snow, um, 
is really quite frustrating <laughs> and not fun at all to deal with. Once, when it, when it really starts coming down and piling up um, and sticks around for months on end, but all snow that I've ever seen has quickly, very, very quickly melted away. Yep, it's kind of sad. So I wonder what real snow looks like. So that, I guess that technically means that I've never really felt real cold either. Oh, I just took a little bit of damage there. That's fine. That's fine. Everything's fine. In our beautiful Minecraft world. You know, I think also it might be on peaceful mode. Whenever I do the thumbnail, yeah, we want it to be easy. Taking it chill. But we want those monsters. Whenever I do the thumbnail, I change it. So I don't have to worry about getting attacked. Or anything like that. Alrighty. So we've grabbed everything, I believe, from our base. I think we were also trying to make a little farm over there. But it wasn't really going that well. Or that they were growing very, very slowly, I want to say. So maybe after we take a little nap, nappy nap in the bed, we'll go back over there and check that out. Hello, cow. Oh, you look so cute. Look so cute. I feel like I've changed the texture back since... Oh, the sky looks so cool. Since last time. I've played. Also, I hope this lighting is very, uh, very nice and calming. I wasn't sure whether to go with the really, really bright lights or to go for something a little bit, uh, you know, chill vibes. I don't know, it's so cringe. Every time I say vibe, I, like, cringe a little inside. It's, it's, it's made its way into common vernacular, so there's nothing I can really do about it. Alright, let's go look at any farm that we had going. I really think a greenhouse would just look beautiful. So, we might uh, make one of those. Make one of those. I need to remember not to absolutely pound on these keyboard keys. I'm used to playing Elden Ring where you got to be quick and it'll really 100% intention and all of your actions. So, got to remember, this is Minecraft. Relaxing Minecraft. Yep, there it is. On easy mode. We're just having a good time. Oh, okay. So we have we also have a little pasture, and I really wish I had not made this here. I wish I had made it over there. I think that would have been better. Um, but it is what it is. If, if we need to destroy it, we can. This igloo is so cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the farm that we have going. It's a pretty good farm. We've got some pumpkins, got some wheat. Uh, this looks full grown. But I don't think it was. That's unfortunate. Uh, but we've got some potatoes, some really good things growing here. So this is definitely a good starting point for us. But I think a greenhouse would be a, a lot cuter. We also need to, we'll probably need to make another infinite water source over here as well. Also do that. Lots of things to do today. Lots of things to do today. I've considered um the next time that you know if I make a part four, if you if you like it uh, and all that. If I do make a part four, I've considered maybe I could try and 
download a uh, adventure map maybe or a more um, exploration map I think that would be really fun and we could do that for part four instead of continuing to sort of build up this world if you guys want it just let me know let me know all right all right all right let's see and I think I probably ran out of cobblestone right Well, that's okay. We'll just go mining a little. We can go ahead and do that right now. Well, maybe I should make sure that I have enough food. Let me see here. Okay, two cooked pork chops and baked potatoes. Oh, this is making me hungry. Ah, oh, baked potatoes. A lot of pumpkins. We have sugar. Do we have eggs? I'm not seeing any eggs. All right, so we can't make pumpkin pies, which is a little sad, but eggs aren't, shouldn't be super hard to get. See, we could put. Oh, my mouse disconnected. Come on, mouse. There we go. We could put a pretty pasture right here, I think. We could almost, we could connect it into the glass. Have it swing around, sort of. Oh, got a big thing of lag there. Have all of this be pasture. And then we could make a little pass to the greenhouse, which could maybe... Come on, Mac. Which could maybe be in this area. And there's some lava over there. That's good. That means we can uh, make it to the nether pretty easily if need be. Okay. I think I'll be okay on food, especially if I'm just sort of staying in one place. Goodness, why am I lagging so much? I might have to turn my render distance down just a little bit. All right, should we continue mining in this cave or should we start a strip mine? probably be better to just continue mining in this game. I don't know. I guess we just need cobblestone for the time being. We don't really need a whole lot of other stuff. I can just mine right here, I think. And it'll be fine. I'm also going to be taking some sips of water during the playthrough because my throat has been sore for about a week. I think because of allergies. I hope because of allergies because I'm not going to the doctor. So, and talking definitely makes it hurt a little bit more, so... Especially when I'm trying to do this very soft volume, my throat gets very, it's very constricted and it hurts just a little bit. Usually it'd be fine, but really I should try to relax my throat and not tense up quite as much. The register gets a lot lower when I try and do that. I sound like a video game boss, old lady, woman. Maybe it sounds good, I don't know. <laughs> it's a lot easier to be up here than to be down here. Okay, get our shovel 
allow. We'll go ahead and replace this. Oh, I just threw that. Whoops. And replace this with our cobblestone. Okay, there we go. And now I believe we need to find more sand so we can make more glass. We can go ahead and fill in that window, and then we'll probably have to mine more wood as well, and we'll continue doing the roof. Yeah, well, you know what we could do? We could get... I don't know. I don't think that would look as good. I think w we could get a large amount of glass, and we could make the whole roof glass, but I think it would look better if we just did a small section of glass. So I want to be able to have some sort of light fixture hanging from the roof. I think so. But uh, anyways, we might go ahead and sleep. So we'll go and we will acquire the sand and the wood once the sun goes down all the way. So I'm pretty sure it's setting and not rising. Right? I think so. for the sun. This is very aesthetic. It's very aesthetic. Okay, it's definitely setting. Just have to wait a little bit longer, I think. Is there any sand we can get while we're waiting? We can get this tree. Acquired. Go back and go to sleep now. All right. Okay. New day. Let's go ahead and get on with it. I'm not really sure where the best place to find sand would be, but I definitely see trees over there. So I guess we'll go and we'll get some logs first and hopefully we'll run into sand. Probably we'll find some sort of water source. Oh, it's a polar bear. Y'all, yeah, polar bears make me feel so sad. Like, there, there's no way we're gonna save them. Right? There's, like, no way. <laughs> At least that's how I feel. One day they'll just be gone. Okay. Probably find some sand over here. The ice looks super cool. Okay, come on. There's, There's gotta be sand. Or squid. It's just stuck down there. Oh, there's some sand. We also have the beautiful ice spikes biome. Love to see it. Anyway, I, I sadly don't think we're going to be able to save the polar bears. They make me very sad. Because they are... Well, the crap. Because uh, well, they are so cool. Um, and I believe they're the largest land carnivore on the planet. But 
I just don't see a world where the world comes together enough to be able to save the polar bears, unfortunately. And it just, do you think they, it makes me sad thinking about how, do you, do you think they're confused? The ones that, um, are born and live closer to or further south if if they're confused as to why like why why am i white i'm there's not a whole lot of snow why am why am i built like this my environment it doesn't seem like it was made for me why am i like this why why are none of my adaptations working and for some reason, that just makes me really sad. Um, that they're, they're just confused on why things are the way that they are. I don't know. I should probably try not be sad. Y'all are trying to fall asleep here. But they're super cool. Okay, shovel. It's not a shovel. Cobblestone, or some sticks, okay. Everything looks very odd in the texture pack. Go ahead and make two shovels, because those things go super duper quickly. Alright, we have a shovel. Head back over this way. Okay, what's, what's, what's something happy we can talk about that's not, that doesn't relate at all to climate change? Um, oh, I need to eat. Oh, the, uh, I'm actually, I'm not sure when this video is going to come out. I'm not sure if it's going to be this week's video or next week's video, but I know it's coming soon. The, uh, the eclipse is coming soon that you can see in North America. So it's pretty exciting. I, uh, I was reading how, you know, how improbable it is that the moon and the sun are positioned in such a way that they are almost the exact same size in the sky. And I also read a comment said it's also really weird that Earth only has one moon. Excuse me. So, Earth astrology is so fascinating. I went through a, a phase when I was a child where I was really into astrology stuff, but I'm kind of glad that I grew out of it because I don't think I ever would have been smart enough oh, here's all the water to uh, take those kind of classes in high school and college because I am not good at math. I, yeah, I'm not good at math. I'm not one of the people that I am. Bo I was born with the ability to innately understand math. You know, we we all know somebody like that. They, it just clicks for them. But math just doesn't click click for me. It just doesn't. I I don't get it. I do not get it. And I really think, I don't know, I, I, I think math and challenging your brain is important to building neurons and educating yourself, but I, I think people don't 
I think we need to redo the education system and rethink how much math the average person really needs to be taught in high school and if that time can be better used. Because the majority of people barely struggle to barely learn any math and then the math that they've learned they're never going to use. Um, so it's kind of a waste of time whereas I'm sure you know they have other skills that can be fostered and looked at and nurtured you know I, I feel like we just waste so much time in uh in education not really learning a whole lot of useful things uh, and I really think um it's almost a conspiracy that the average person isn't taught a whole lot about financial things um, when they're in high school because I, I, I think really the track should split and if you're good at math you can continue to learn pre-cal and calculus and all of that but if you're bad, I think you would be better served learning math through a financial lens that you will eventually use and you use to your benefit instead of making people suffer through pre-cal. I think that's ridiculous. Um... But I, I definitely think somebody, I'm already 2% convinced that it's a conspiracy, that the average person doesn't learn this, or doesn't learn about, like, banking and balancing a budget and types of investments and stuff like that. Um, so somebody could probably convince me 100% that that's that that's a conspiracy, that that isn't taught to people, because I think a lot of people are taken advantage of by the system because they don't, you know, know stuff, and all, and all you have to do to not get taken advantage of is know stuff, and it's not that hard to know stuff, but you don't know what you don't know. Anyways, I guess that's not necessarily a whole lot happier than polar bears, uh, going extinct, but anyways, uh, Daisy has a play date tomorrow, the, the channel mascot, <laughs> and I really hope it goes okay, I really hope it goes okay, man, if you ever, if you ever want to test run, uh, having kids, get, get a puppy, because I have never been so stressed out about things. than things that pertain to Daisy in her quality of life. Oh, it's snowing. Ah, that's so cute. I wonder when the next time I'm going to see snow is. come up um, with birthday present ideas for our dad and this is one of the hardest things to do as an adult is come up with birthday presents for your parents it's hard it's hard because you care so much 
but you feel like besides having grandkids, there's not a whole lot you could give them. So if, if you were my mom or my dad, um, and you happen to be watching this far into the video, which I don't think that they do, but if they are, stop watching because I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, dish out the genius birthday idea that I came up with for my dad and some people might think it's really dumb but I thought it was very clever um so for my dad's birthday his his birthday is very close to father's day so what I think we're gonna do is we're going to get him a pair of shoes but but we are only going to give him one shoe for his birthday and then he'll get the other shoe in a in a few months for father's day and both times we're gonna put a, a gift card in the shoe so he still you know get something he can use right then but so he gets something tangible he also gets a gift card and he also gets a laugh and is like wow I birthed such creative and intelligent children everybody's happy you know? So that's, that's our genius idea. Actually, I'm not going to make that other piece. Let's start with these. So, uh, yeah, if any of you guys would like to copy my idea, go ahead and feel free. You don't have to give me credit. I won't copyright strike you or so bust up to your parents' house. This is my idea they stole from me. Give me the credit. Oh, crap. I, I, I find... I've, I've really... There, there's nothing like having a really, really good present idea for somebody and pulling it off. It's very, very satisfying. Again, everybody comes out happy. My, uh, I I'm by no means an expert gift giver, but I've given some pretty good gifts. Um, and if I had to offer advice, it would be, I cannot see a single thing. Okay. It would be to have a note on, again, have a note on your phone, on your iPhone, and on that note, on your iPhone, make a list of everybody you will be get, getting gifts for throughout the year. It's probably about five people if you're over the age of 22. And in that note, write their name their name write their birthday just in case you second guess yourself and write the year too because sometimes you need to know that for various things that crop up in life write the year and then under that through now this is the most important part throughout the year be a good listener i just burped again i'm drinking throughout the year be a good listener and I can almost guarantee you if, if you do this and you are a good listener and you listen to things that they say they like throughout the year you'll have at least one idea one idea Like some, some people for Christmas, I already know what I'm getting them because I've listened and they've said, oh, I really like that. And I put it in the note on my phone. Gift ideas. And it says, get them this. They said they wanted this back in January. They'll be really impressed too. I'll be like, wow, you remember that? You must just really listen. You'll be like, yeah, I do really listen, don't I? <laughs> Anyways, that is that is my gift giving advice. Oh, I hate I hate articles. Look, I'm one of those people 
where gift giving things that you know they aren't really going to use really bothers me because money money's important to everybody right um and sometimes for christmas i just want to be like look my gift to you is that you don't have to get me a gift no stress this is my gift this year just don't worry about it um so whenever whenever i i really try and i want to give people good gifts you know not not just you know something off the discount rack or you know things like that so i you know, really put a lot of thought into gifts and those articles. Like if you look up on Pinterest or Google, Father's Day gift ideas, it's all, it's all crap. It's all crap. No, nobody, nobody wants that. It's very hard to find realistic good gift ideas. And especially for guys, for women, because a lot of, a lot of things are marketed towards women. Um, it's a little bit easier. Like if, if you have a woman in your life, here are some good woman gift ideas. Okay? Especially if you're a guy. Listen up. All, all, all 100 of you. <laughs> um, um, I'm dropping the big stuff. Uh, if you have a woman, here are some things she might like. Here are some good gift ideas. If she's like me, I guess. Um, a silk pillowcase. They say that's really good for your hair, really good for your skin. It's something that everybody uses. You have to think about the things that everybody uses. And then if you build, if, if you build on those things, then you'll eventually get to a good gift. Everybody uses a pillowcase. So we can elevate that into something a little bit more luxurious. Satin pillowcase. Okay? You can also, you can make the same argument for a blanket. Everybody uses blankets. You know, you can never really have enough blankets, but here's where it turns into a good gift. I've also gotten this for people before and they loved it. You go to Shutterfly. Okay? Things are always on sale on Shutterfly, especially around holidays. Go to Shutterfly and you get a blanket with pictures on it. Then it's personal. It's personal. You thought about them. You know, if you didn't take my gift idea, get my, my iPhone Note gift idea, go to Shutterfly. Lots of great options. You gotta make it personal. You can't, you can't just get, you know, the mug that says number one, whatever, right? You got to make it a little bit more personal than that. What's something else? Or, you know, you know, if you're a guy, I, I said girls are the most sort of marketed group of people, but that doesn't mean you have to buy them something. You know what you could also do that I'm sure... I, even if, you, if you're a girl too, looking for something to get a guy, this is also a good idea. You know, make them, make them a meal that they really enjoy. Buy them flowers, put the flowers in the center of the table. Handcraft a meal that they enjoy. Then take them out for their favorite dessert. Go get them some ice cream. Quality time together. You know, they can tell you put effort into what you were doing. It's personal because it's one of their favorite meals. Great gift idea. Great gift idea. I'm, I'm really throwing the big ones out there, you guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm dishing out the secrets. What else? I feel like I need to give more, uh, more gift for girl ideas. Oh, if they uh, if they're planning a trip, 
to somewhere now or it could be a long time in the future get them a travel guide get them a travel guide I've I've gone on many trips and I and you play in trips far in advance and I've been shocked nobody's ever gotten me a travel guide for those trips you know or if they if they like if they want to go to a certain place Get them a book about it. It doesn't even have to be one of the, uh, you know, token yellow travel guides. They make some real... I was at Barnes & Noble. I love that place. I love that place so much. I could spend hours in that place. I could spend hours and thousands of dollars. And not just because everything is marked up in there. But they have some beautiful books about places and they're not necessarily travel guides they're uh, beautiful let's get them a book like that if they have um if they have hobbies you don't have to necessarily get them a something that will aid in their hobby because they probably have preferences about specific things that they want for their hobby but you can get them a book about their hobby you could get them a t-shirt about their hobby hmm. always a, a good t-shirt is always always loved i love a good t-shirt about my hobbies because you know i might not wear a whole lot of you know i i, I have an animal crossing t-shirt am i going to wear that in public all the time no, not necessarily, but am I going to wear that to sleep? Because it's when I sleep, I, all I worry about is how soft it is. Yeah, of course, uh, multiple times a week, I'm, I'm going to wear that at home while I'm chilling out. It's a great gift if it's soft. Et Etsy's a good place for that. You can get a bunch of stuff like that on Etsy. E Etsy, I, I know apparently they're having an influx of um, AI art on Etsy that's causing some problems to the creators there but they have a lot of, uh, of really great t-shirt options and and I will and and while, while you're browsing on Etsy you can get a lot of other really good ideas sometimes uh, excuse me again with the why am I burping? I know, um, what was I about to say? Oh, the, the AI art trend doesn't permeate to the 3D objects as much. It probably, the drop shipping stuff probably is an issue. But if you're looking to get things customized and add that personal touch to stuff, Etsy's really I don't know why I'm, I'm saying this like Etsy is some new thing that hasn't been around for 10 years. Anyways, there's some other really good gift ideas. Now, if you're thinking about getting skincare, don't do that for your girl. That's a little too personal. Now, if she mentions that she's running out of something, that's a good gift. That's a good gift. But otherwise... Be careful, because skincare is very specific. Um, now you can get her a, maybe a special face mask, something special that's one-time use. That would be a good gift, but things that you use every day, be careful with that. Um, but now makeup. If you want to get her makeup, uh, whenever, I guess if you live together, when a girl's not home, go in the bathroom and look at her makeup drawer and look at the brands, the brand of the brand and the colors of her most used eyeshadow palette. And then you can get her an eyeshadow palette from that same brand. And you can either get her different colors so you're, you know, not she doesn't have a double or if she's running out of certain shades 
you can use that for what color colors you're looking for in whatever palette. And that's a good gift, personal. Again, personal, you listen to her, you, you watch her, you notice her habits. It's a great gift. I need to put cobblestone right here, too. It's a good gift. Let's see, what else can we think of? I probably need to figure out my food. I'll just eat some baby. Stone. Go ahead and replace all of this. Let's see if I can get how much I can get with this one shovel. It's about to break. Probably about half of this one. Oh, or one. There we go. All right. And then I don't know why I ran over here. Something crazy was going to happen. Oh, another thing that uh, people are always running out of. I, if, if they don't like scents, that's one thing. And this is a little generic, but a hand soap. You're always using it. You're always running out. You know what I disagree with? I feel like there's a stigma against getting people household products for gifts. But if, you, if you're trying to get something for people that guarantees that they're going to use it, you know, if somebody got, if somebody got me two things of Tide Pods, it's a great gift. I'm going to use it. It's going to be useful. Give it some good wrapping paper. I guess it's not fun. But it's, you, it's a lot more useful than a lot of gifts that we've been given before, right? So I guess maybe if you could think of a fun way to present that gift, then it would be okay. Maybe you could wrap it with some special wrapping paper. Okay, what are we doing here? Uh, we can go ahead, we can continue the roof. But we're going to run out soon, I think. I need to make some stepping stones to get on the roof, I think. But uh, anyways, so listening and observing is a very big part of gift giving. If, if you're finding that you are lacking in your gift giving skills, it means you're lacking uh, in your listening and observing, which again is, well, dang, is why it's a little hard for parents if, if you don't live with them uh, anymore, because you can't be there listening and watching all the time, you know? And, you know, and a lot of parents, you know, they have everything, right? Or you feel like they have everything, and they don't want you to get them stuff, so it's, it's hard to find stuff. It is. It is, it is. But a uh, Shutterfly, Shutterfly's got some great ideas. If you have a lot of photos of that person, it's a great idea. Who doesn't love photos? I love photos. And we're out of blocks. Okay. Anyways, uh, drop some of your favorite gifts that you've given in the uh, in the comments below. We'll all help help each other out. We'll all help each other out. We're, we are all at the end of the day. We're all on the same team. You know. We need to go get some logs. I think. All on the same team. We gotta remember that. All on the same team, and we all have something 
that we bring to the table. All have something. We just have to find the task for the tools that we have, right? So experiences are always good gifts. I, I myself particularly, particularly, I really like escape rooms. And I wish I had more friends that lived close by. So I could do them more often. I have done a lot of them though. Am I, am, you might be wondering, oh, she's done a lot of escape rooms. That probably means she's pretty good at them, right? You would be correct. I'm still not very good at them, but that's okay. And sometimes they make them unnecessarily difficult. And sometimes the, sometimes it's not that the puzzles are hard, but there's so many of them. If you're not immediately getting them, you can't solve them in the time limit. Where am I? Oh, okay, I know where I am. Which I, I think is unfair. I, I went I went to this one escape room. I was doing it with my family and we barely got, uh, it was had multiple rooms and we barely got past the second room maybe, or maybe we were almost out of the second room. And the guy who was leading, leading you through, since people are watching you while you do them to make sure you don't poop somewhere, I guess. Um, and giving you hints and stuff like that. He, he, he took us through the, uh, the rest of the escape room and he was like, yeah, once you get to the third room, there's approximately 15 more puzzles that you need to solve. And I was like, who is going to be able to do that in an hour? We already solved like 10 and it took us the entire time. And he was like, yeah, this, this escape room has a, about a 1% first time completion rate and I was like y'all are what's the point y'all are ripping people off here it's ridiculous if, if they put that on the website buy the room oh yeah 99% of people don't get out there's nothing worse than doing an escape room and not getting out of the escape room it stinks it stinks foggy and cute. Okay. It stinks. Um, so they, they, they make them unnecessarily hard sometimes. And I know I'm 100% right in saying that. You can't convince me otherwise. We're gonna get the bones and the arrows. Oh, I need to eat again. There you go. It's gonna be really hard to see <laughs> where they all are on the uh, on the snow here. There you go. All right, so we're going back, and we are continuing. Log. I feel like we have enough um, sand, probably, for the time being. But we can go and get some logs. It's, it's a little bit uh, annoying to have to run so far to get materials. I guess I didn't think about that when I uh, started the world. If you guys would be particularly bothered if I started a, uh, a new world after <laughs> this episode, let me know and I won't do it. I'll just keep going on this one, but I've been playing Minecraft for so long now, it's, uh, it's hard to keep it fresh, 
you know. Maybe I should add some mods in or something. I, I really think, I, I think if Minecraft, um, bought the, the Aether mod that you go through with the glowstone portal, I think if they bought that and just added it to the game, they would see a large influx of older players come back just to play that. I don't- I would hop on here and play it. I think adding- adding new worlds all together. They could honestly- they could make another world and just recolor a lot of the biomes that they have now and I would be all for it. All for it. I also wish they would add more structures like villages. So I really like finding structures. I think like if they had like massive structures, that would look really cool. I don't know why we went all the way back here. I still don't have that many. <laughs> we'll go this way this time. It'll be a little less far, I think. Go ahead and mine this tree down. Oh wow, we've been going a long time. I barely even noticed it. Oh no. Oh no, how do I get it back? Okay. I refuse to use- every time I use a shield in this game, my entire game glitches. And I get to the point where my left click stops working. And I try and eat things. So, I'm- that's why I don't have a shield. I don't believe. No shields for me. Okay. On to this tree. I really want to get uh, the house done before this episode ends, but I don't know if we're gonna quite get there in time. I'd really like to. All right. Get a few of these trees in here. Go ahead and get a hole. We can go till this axe. Oh, I must have already gotten this one. Uh, this axe breaks and then we can walk back. Um, I wonder if anybody who has ever been on that TV show alone, I wonder if they've ever played Minecraft. And they're like, wow, if only it was this simple. <laughs> if only. Man, that show is wild. The show is wild. And I read, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, Al Alone is a TV show where they take 12 people who have a lot of wilderness survival training and they just drop them somewhere in Canada with a radio if they are dying and whoever lasts the longest wins half a million dollars and um, I think uh, oh there goes my mouse I think I, I read that the people who go on that show sometimes it takes them years to recover from not eating enough. So crazy. I 
the last season that I watched, spoiler alert, if for some reason you're really into the show, <laughs> the, last, the, the guy basically used starvation to defeat starvation. It was crazy. And he won. It worked. <laughs> it's like, wow, the, the producers probably hate him because he did nothing entertaining. He, he just slept a lot and drank a lot of water, but he won. Oh, time to eat another potato. Alright, we're going back to our house. Going back to our house. Also, if I made all the settings in OBS correct, this should be recorded as um, separate audio for the mic and the game, so I can make sure the game is, the volume is perfect and not too loud. And it also means I can um, try and get any computer noise out of the microphone, which is also, which is really good. So I worry that you can hear <laughs> my computer um, and I haven't, and I can't, couldn't use noise canceling on, uh, on the previous videos because I was worried it would cancel some of the Minecraft noises out. But if they're on two separate audio tracks, then I can go ahead and do that. almost got this roof finished. I think we're going to be able to finish it with the logs that we have left. Oh, and I do want to leave some space empty in this top part. Yeah, we should have enough. Do I have glass blocks? Yes, I have glass blocks. Okay. So I want to... Let me finish this side. I want to leave... I think the edges... Maybe like that. Okay, if we do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We could probably do three. One, two, three, one, two, three. I, I know we have enough glow. As long as we're down here. I know we have enough glass down here. It's probably all in here. Yep, there it is. Okay. So we can still sort of see the outside from the top. Because the sky is so pretty. I think that would be cool. And we're also, I think we're going to go steal some lanterns from the village over there. Because I don't want to use my own iron to make them. Because that's lame. And then three. I don't think they can get up here. Oh, they can. No, they can't. Ha. <laughs> Idiot. Alright. One, two, three, one, two, three. So one more. Over here. And then the rest of this is just wood. There we go. Go 
ahead and finish this stack off. Okay. And now our last stack. All right, there we go. We're all built. Wow. Okay, where's the door? Awesome. All right, let me eat this potato. All right, we should be good. You've got to be kidding me. All right, well, anyway, so whenever we can sleep again, I wonder if I move it right here. That's far enough away. Okay, what about if I move it over here? Okay, there you go. <laughs> got it. We got it. Yay, they're all dying. Oh, look how pretty that is. Okay, and we can still see the sky. I think that looks good. Right, you don't, we don't, do we need to put logs right here? And then we can do... Should we have done logs one more in? Oh no. Or do we think it looks good? I don't know. That's so pretty. If only I was rich. Why aren't rich people doing this? This is so pretty. I think most rich people have no taste. So sad. They could hire people to have taste for them. I think we need to put logs around the edges. Let's go back up there. Yeah, I think I think we need logs right here. Log, log, log. All right, and I almost want to put um a log right here too. Hmm. I think it's okay. We'll leave it like that. Okay. I do think this looks better though. And then and then maybe bring this glass in just a little bit. Oh, is it four, four, and four? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's four, four, and four. Oh, we did it. Perfect. It's symmetrical. Ah, okay. Nice. All right. And then what we're going to do, check this out. Check this out. Okay, we're going to go steal some lanterns from the village. This is going to look great. Are you ready for this? It's going to look great. Great, 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 great. Doing the long run over here. Hello, bunnies. Okay. Had to check something. On my phone. All right, we're gonna steal these four lanterns. Yep, yeah, sorry, dude. Sorry. Okay, awesome. Um. Oh, there's bookshelves in here. Oh, we're gonna take these too. Oh, and we're gonna take those fences too. Also, I also want to take these. I really, I think I changed texture pack. I don't remember. The torch is looking this cool. <laughs> Alright, then we're gonna go over here. This is gonna look great. It's gonna look great. Ready for this. Um, okay. Can you hang torches from half okay, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Run back over here. Grab whatever that was. All right. So we have 
those four in the middle. We're gonna stand on some dirt. Okay. We're gonna hang. One right there, and then watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, okay? If you can hang them from, sweet, so I would do chains, but I don't know how to get chains. Um, can you, I don't think you can make them. Chain. Is that what they're called? Yeah, change. Okay. I'm an adult. Okay. <laughs> Stupid website. Okay. It says renewable. Where do you get the chains? Natural generation and bastions, ruined portals, above magma cube spawners. Chains also generate in mine shafts. Find one of those. Crafting. Okay, you can make chains. Oh, we're gonna make some chains. Do we have any iron? We can put some iron in one of these stupid chests. Iron. Iron, iron, iron. Oh, we don't have any iron. Ah. Well, okay. Anyways, what I was gonna do. Let me see if you can hang. I don't know if you can. We're going to find out. There's the dirt pile. Okay. We can do... Alright, and if it's cash money... No, you can't hang them from the app block. Alright, well, what can we do? So I was going to do like a spiral down. But, gosh, that's going to block the light, I think. It would look better with chains. How fast do you think we can get iron? I don't know. We would need, we would need, like, a few, a few iron. Okay, if we dig straight down somewhere, what are the chances that we're going to find iron? Does anybody, does anybody want to bet? Um, maybe if we just go down there, we can find some. If we don't get blown up by a creeper. Oh, we also need food. Oh, no. Oh, no. If, oh, 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 yeah, we're gonna, okay, we're not gonna go down there. Okay, we're gonna go back this way. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna speed walk. We're gonna calmly speed walk back this way. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Oh, what if we go this way? No, we need to, we need to get food. Stop it, stop it, M. We need to get food. go. I think our farm should be yeah, right over there. And if stuff isn't growing on that farm, I I I, I don't I don't know what we need to be doing about that. I feel like stuff should probably be a growing on the farm. All right. Well, the pumpkins are doing great. But see the, the wheat's not even full grown. Is this full grown? Okay, that was full grown. This looks full grown. That was not full. You're kidding me. Okay. Well, are these full grown? No. How about... Are these carrots? No, those are potatoes. I can't remember if I had carrots. I might not have had carrots. I'm 
look like beets. Okay, we've got some beet growth. Okay, and we've got some potatoes. Good. All right, so we've got some stuff. I should probably replant some of those potatoes. And some of the beets. I think we can make soup, right? Oh, those are no longer tilled. That's fine. We can probably make some soup. Not in here. That is our plan. Okay, I'm going to take that out before I do something dumb again. And we're going to bake the potato. Bake, potato, bake, bake, potato, bake, potato, bake, bake, potato. I wish it didn't take so long to bake potatoes. The baked potatoes are really good, but they take forever. <clears throat> or at least they do if you want to make sure they're done all the way and you didn't just waste 45 probably going to kick somebody out of their bed. Yeah, sorry, dude. Get out of here. Okay. Alright, awesome. The zombies are upset. Everybody's upset. See, I wish they, they had some chains. They don't have any chains. They have a lot of lanterns. So I could kill him for iron, but I don't think it's worth it. Alright, should we just try and dig down? We're gonna pro strat. Stand in the middle, and then you can do two by two, and you won't fall. <laughs> it's probably more efficient to do this. We will either hit something of value, or we will hit bedrock. Hopefully, we do not hit a cave. not be very good. Oh, we hit coal. That was honestly probably pretty probable. So I guess I'm technically using my iron pickaxe to do this. It's probably pretty dumb. looks like I, I guess they they made it uh the ground a lot deeper in one of these updates should probably make a cobblestone pickaxe oh some weird shading going on there okay oh that is oh there's iron ah we did it
right? That's iron. Also goes on in the side. Was that? No, that was iron. Yeah, raw iron. You know, did we already have some? It was just raw. I think we already had some and it was just raw. <sighs> All right, well, that's one, one, two, one, two, three. So we need six. About six, I think. Let me go ahead. We're going to go ahead and make a cobblestone pickaxe. Okay, great. And we're going to go ahead and switch that so I don't use that weird one. Alright. Oh, that's so much. Oh, it's gravel, that's why. So that plane worked out pretty good, huh? Oh, I don't know what this stuff is. What is this stuff? Cobbled deep slate? This is from another one of those updates that I didn't pay a whole lot of attention to. It sounds pretty cool. Alright, I feel like we might just find oh what is that is that more iron i can't tell with this texture pack okay yes it is perfect perfect all right this is perfect this is exactly what we needed huh our strategy worked also it sounds like there's a uh, there's a cave here I don't know. Okay, and now we just uh, go straight to the top. We're going to use... Actually, that deep slate looks pretty cool. So, we're going to start by using the diorite. And then, whatever subtype this is. I, I hate this stuff. I wish they never put this in the game. The andesite diorite. I don't know. Creorite. Cobblestone, cobblestone. Granite? Sure, I'll use that. Um, I'll just go for cobblestone. We'll go back up here. Up, up we go. Should be getting to the top. Any second now. There we go. Okay. And we're going to do that. And we're going to run back to our house and smelt this iron that we have. Put it in the house and then we're going to call it a day, I believe. Yeah, okay. Go ahead and smelt. I want to say there was already some in here. I thought I saw... Yep, there we go. I thought, I thought, I thought it was the rabbit for a second. Alright, raw iron. So we didn't even have to do all that. Oh well. Alright. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this down. Alright, perfect. And now we go here. Oh, that's not. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Chains. Chains. Okay. And Gonna get up on the dirt again. Okay, and we want one chain here. And we're gonna go with two chains there, but we're gonna do that. Okay. 
Okay. We need some more raw iron. Okay. And then one more chain here. So that's one, two, right? And then we need one, two, and one more. There we go. Look at that. Super fancy. Super fancy. Nice. Right? That looks pretty good. I think that looks pretty good. Alright, well, anyways, I think that's going to be the end of today's episode. Thanks for coming and chilling and watching Minecraft. I hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know if you want a part four, of course. And if you have a hunkering for more gaming in general, check out the gaming channel. Uh, we're having a lot of fun over there and hopefully it'll just continue to be a good time. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. And I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and a great week. All right. Bye.